strong ones. Thank you so much for joining in. Today is day seven of the Fall Fitness for Forgiveness Challenge. This is the final day where you will get a video from me about the fitness component of this challenge. This challenge is all about opening up our mind and opening up our body at the same time through this practice of letting go. This challenge is to jumpstart this practice into your normal day routine, either it be your strength routine, your daily life routine, or your morning routine, whatever it may be, is just to help you let go, to be open to the possibilities of your new found strength. Today we're gonna to be rolling out our chest and what you will need is a yoga therapy ball and a foam roller. If you are interested in purchasing a yoga therapy ball, the link is down below where you can purchase those. If you don't have one, no worries. You can use a lacrosse ball or a tennis ball. I'll also have a link down below where you can also purchase your own foam roller. I'll make sure to share what type of foam rollers I personally like and that I don't like with that description down below. Before we get started, let me introduce myself. My name is Coach Anna Willard. I am a Strong First Kettlebell Instructor, a movement nerd ninja on a mission to bring you hope through our health. And this is just one simple way that I can help you increase your happiness with decreasing that pain with the tensive muscles. So we're gonna get started right away. You don't need the foam roller until later, so I'm just gonna roll it off to the side. All you need right now is just a yoga therapy ball or a lacrosse ball. I'm gonna show you two different ways of how to do this. First one's on the floor and then we'll hop off into the wall. You're gonna be laying down on the floor and you're just placing the therapy ball right in front of your armpit. So right in that chest area. Arm is straight across forming like a T position and you're just rolling back and forth. That's it. Usually you can find some tensive thought, or not thoughts, <laughs> those are up in your brain, tensive spots in that pec. So usually when that happens for me, I just kind of sit into it and then I do back and forth with this motion. And just allow that to open up. And then just go back and forth again. And that's it. Ooh, yeah, it's a goody one, a goody one. It's a good one. Now we're gonna show you up on the floor. All right, we're gonna get nice and close up and personal with uh, the wall, the ball, and yourself. <laughs> where, just so you can see a little bit better it's a description of where the ball is, it's here and it's just moving back and forth. If you need to, you can move it up and down. So the floor is probably the most intensive spot that you can do this rolling out position. On the wall is the second least tensive or intensity of it. Third would just be taking your hand and going back and forth here or here. So if you have a really tender pec muscle, I would say use your hand, go to the wall, then onto the floor. So I've showed you the most intensive position on the floor, easiest or least tensive position rolling out your, with your hand. Now we'll go to the wall. We're here. Yep, see I told you, really up close and personal. Just doing the same motion, back and forth, up and down. Wherever you feel tight, go with that. Then once you find that tensive spot, moving the arm. All right guys, so you have seen the three different ways that you can roll out your chest, being on the floor, being the most aggressive with the most tension because we're working with gravity. Second, being up against the wall, and then third, just using your hands. So whatever you need, go with what your body needs. Make sure you listen to that and don't push past this, what your body is saying, or if it's saying too, it's too painful, make sure we're dialing it back down. Maybe I'll make another video on how to listen to your body. 
but this is a practice of being gentle with our body and making sure we're giving it what it needs. So making sure that we, if it's too painful here and you're almost like in tears, hop onto the wall. If it's too painful on the wall, just do it here. There's no right or wrong, it's just right or wrong for you and what your body's telling you. So once you open up your chest on both sides with the therapy ball, we're gonna jump onto the foam roller. This is one of the things that I love to do after a long day of work. I know most of you think with me being a trainer, I don't get into that society crunch of being here on the computer, on my phone. I'm constantly in the same position as you guys are. I am no different. This is one of the things I love to do that helps open up my chest, lengthen my spine, and just reset my upper body and my brain at the same time. What you're gonna do is simply lay on it. So this is why you want a long foam molar because you wanna make sure your head and the tail of your spine is lengthened on the full thing. We don't want one half hanging off and then the other half hanging off. If you have a short foam roller, what you can also do is just pile up pillows or a towel or something like that to make sure your head is positioned well, and then you can do the same thing. But what I recommend is a longer foam roller. So sit on it first. Get your tailbone as close to the edge as possible. And then just relax and you're placing your arms out into a T. And I usually, once I'm here, I just let gravity do the work. I would just focus on my breathing pattern. And from there, I usually turn on like one of my favorite songs and just chill out for at least five minutes of the evening and just kind of let gravity do the work and just find that rest throughout my body. I'm still on, okay. Well, that is day seven of the Fall Fitness for Forgiveness Challenge. Thank you for joining. I hope this helped open up your body in a position that alleviated some pain or some stress muscles. And if you're interested in learning more of the mental aspect of this practice of letting go and becoming open through this practice of forgiveness, click the email below I'll be sending out an email tonight about how we can go about this practice of forgiveness and letting go of some of those tensive thoughts that may be holding us back from our greatest potential and power. So make sure you click there. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for joining in. That's me, Coach Anna Willard, peacing out.